following is a fan-based product. Common Rider and all associated properties are owned by Toy Company, TV Asahi, ADK, and Ishinomori Productions. Please support the official release. Warning. The following content will contain sensitive subjects such as abuse, self-destruction, and suicidal thoughts. If you or anyone you know is struggling with thoughts such as these, you are not alone. Please seek help from whomever you can. The number for the Suicide Prevention Hotline will be in the description below. Viewer's discretion is advised. Did I lose you? <sighs> Try to pay more attention. Now where was I? I guess a refresher is in order. Previously, I was talking about my beginnings. My wife, pregnant with our unborn son, Ainosuke, and my first day on the job at Nod. I was such a wide-eyed kid, but I was able to meet two of my closest friends in Kenji and Muto. But upon meeting with Jobin, my whole world was turned upside down. I knew something was wrong when he mentioned making the deal go one way. And that feeling only exploded when I heard him talking to a client that same night. It was a rough first day, and I thought it may get better in the following days. How wrong I was. Now let's get back to it. Till the building blocks of my dream of Babylon. <laughs> June 17th, 2000. Trying my best to put aside everything I heard yesterday and move forward. Who knows, maybe I was just so tired from my first day on the job that I was just hearing things. Guess I should go in and figure this stuff out. Good morning, Kaseya. President Jobin wanted to see you in his office. Something about the meeting between Aoki and Tsuchiya or something like that. Shit! You probably noticed me listening in on him last night. I can't believe I was so reckless! Thank you. I'll be up there as fast as I can. Take it easy, Amida. you, Uncle Ku? Yes, sir. Well, what are you waiting for? Come in and have a seat. No. You know why I've called you in here first thing in the morning, right? This is in regards to the negotiation between Mr. Aoki and Mr. Suchi, if I remember correctly. I heard son was snooping around last night after hours, right outside of my office. No. Everyone save for Kenji, Muto, and one other man went home on time that night. Someone snooping around last night? Who could be so sneaky? You tell me, Kasia. I, 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 uh, uh, Did you learn whatever it was you were hoping to learn? 
What do you plan on doing, now that you have the knowledge you have now? Look, Mr. President, I won't be doing anything to damage this company or anyone in it. You have my word, okay? I would hope not. You know what we do to traitors, right? Yes. I do. <laughs> Excellent. I knew you were an outstanding employee, Kazuya. Makes me proud to be a leader. Now, let's get going to that negotiation, shall we? I'm looking forward to seeing a performance firsthand. Let's go. Ah, Kurabara. Good timing. How goes that project you and Kenji were working on? All is well, Jobin. The Entbot is complete, and we've begun our work on another. Great to hear, my boy. I'll have to check it out when I get the opportunity. Keep up the good work, you two. <laughs> we look forward to your visit, sir. I'll be on my way now. Oh, and Kasia, when you get a chance, meet me in the lab. I got something you might be interested in. I'll be there. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you both here in one place. Allow me to introduce you to the man that will be conducting this negotiation. This is Kasia Onkoku. It's an honor and pleasure to meet you both. You're having some kid do this. Jobin, what the hell is wrong with you? That's not any normal kid. Kasia Onkoku is the person that single-handedly sold house after house back when the economy was still recovering from the bubble pop. Unfortunately, the government decided the sales were null after realizing he was only 16, so they took everything he made and then some. You flattered me with your recognition of my talents, sir. Now, let's cut the introductions and begin this negotiation. Yes, let's get this over with. Don't mind me. I'll be sitting in. Mr. Aoki, according to these documents, the PM has been making plans to reroute the highways away from Saitama directly to the Greater Tokyo area. You understand the negative effects this will have on the tourism industry of the region, do you not? We took that into consideration when making the plans in the first place. If you take a close look at those documents, you'll see that we closely examined the money earned from tourism in the Saitama area. We found that while they're seeing consistent tourists, the numbers are falling yearly, with no signs of an increase anytime soon. Whereas Tokyo is seeing a larger number of tourists from across the world monthly. We predict that by the time we finish rerouting the roads, the people will have lost interest in the old attractions of Saitama, and will come to the big city. But you failed to take into account the historical and cultural significance of our region. Sure, we aren't seeing many foreigners anymore, and we may be losing money, but we see thousands of people from all over the country coming in to make the Chichibu Canon pilgrimage. If we reroute the highways, we'll most definitely see even less foot traffic than we already have. You'll be single-handedly killing one of the most major sources of revenue for this region. Mr. Suchia makes a good point. While it is true the numbers are diminishing, the cultural importance of Saitama cannot be overstated. Many people take the pilgrimage with their loved ones and see it as an important moment in their lives. You said Tokyo was already seeing a large rise in tourism from all over the world. There's no disputing that. But if Tokyo was growing as much as it is without the reroute, then what's the point of it? Surely, you know that too many people in one place, while it will increase the money earned by the prefecture, will also negatively affect the residents of an area with inflation rates and pollution. Well, we have plans to combat inflation and pollution. Oh? I don't see them anywhere. Did you bring the documents with the plans? N no Sounds to me like you're offering a false promise. I ran the calculations myself, and I found that Tokyo's average rent would go up by at least 25%, and the price of food and other necessities would increase by a further 41.65. You would be nearly doubling the cost of living all for an increase in tourism in one area, while simultaneously killing it in another! But, but you don't understand! On the contrary, Mr. Aoki, I understand completely. These plans of yours and the Prime Minister's are completely ridiculous and one-sided. From one person to another, you should be ashamed of yourself for even considering something like this. Mr. Suchia, your prefecture is safe from the reroute. Are you serious? Mr. Aoki, contain yourself. I most certainly will not! Oh, Jobin, what the fuck were you thinking bringing this joke of a negotiator in here for such a delicate matter? Mr. Aoki, you will sit down and shut your mouth this instant! Apologies, I don't know where that came from. Mr. Aoki, unless you can offer some kind of compromise that will benefit you both, 
I'm afraid we're going to have to deny your plans for the highway. Now, do any of you have any final questions or comments? No questions from me. <sighs> None from me either. Well then, gentlemen, I believe we're done here. Thank you for coming out here for this negotiation. Drive home safe now. Hold on now. What is it, Jobin? Take a seat, Mr. Suchia. I believe it's time for you to fulfill your end of the agreement. Right, the payment. I promise I'll have the money to you soon. I just need time to get it all together. More time? Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this one. But last night you said you already had the 150 million we previously discussed. You weren't lying to me, were you? No, no, I wasn't lying. I really have the money. I just can't go carrying around that much money all at once, you know? Not in broad daylight. Suchio, you know what will happen to you if you don't pay, correct? Do you want to end up like your predecessor? Hata, was it? One week. That's all I need. One week, you say? <laughs> Fine. You have exactly one week starting today to get the money to me. But... If you are late on the payment by even a minute, I will see to it that you are dealt with swiftly. Am I understood? Yes, sir! Now get the hell out of here. Shit! What have I done? I should have lost my temper like that! Jobin's gonna have my ass for this! Shit, shit, shit! Cassia. Yes, Mr. Jobin? That was splendid! I knew you had a silver tongue, but I didn't think you could do something like that. You made Inoue look like an amateur. I did? Does that mean... It sure does, my boy. Congratulations. You're being promoted to VP effective tomorrow. I'll have a talk with Inoue as soon as I get back to my office. You're done with work for today, so feel free to roam about as you please. Of course, you'll be receiving a full day's pay. Just make sure to clock out before you leave. Yes, sir! Thank you so much! Come in! Hey guys! Got let off early today! Now, what was this you wanted to show me, Muto? Ah, that's right! Now, this is what we've been working on. We call them... Entbots. You call them Entbots? Still a really stupid name. Yeah, well, I don't hear you coming up with anything better, Masami. Let me know when you do. This is incredible! Yeah, I know it is. We put a ton of work into this project, and there's still plenty more to come. I don't understand a thing on there! But you were the one who said it was incredible not even 30 seconds ago! Well, yeah. It's so incredible I can't make heads or tails of it. The name sounds really cool, though. <sighs> okay, let me dumb it down for you, then. Endbots are a mixture of man, nature, and machine that combine to form the ultimate soldier. On top of granting immense strength, the endbots gain an ability similar to that of the plant we base it on. So, let's say for example we make an endbot based on an intoxicant, like the Opium Poppy. The endbot would therefore gain the ability of intoxication in some way, shape, or form. Wait, 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 wait. You said these were made using people? Isn't that a bit unethical? The people we use in our experiments are willing participants. Who are we to deny them if they want to sacrifice themselves in exchange for progress? This... is a lot. The reason we had you in is because Kenji here wanted to know if he could turn you into one. Just in case something were to go horribly wrong. This is meant to be a kindness. If you were to suffer any sort of unfortunate accident turning you into a... endbot would potentially save your life. Look, you don't have to agree or disagree now. We just wanted to put the offer on the table since you're the closest thing to a friend we've gotten here in. Well, ever. We tend to get attached to people like you rather quickly if we're being honest here. You two really see me as a friend? But we only met yesterday. Well, we don't exactly get out much, and despite barely knowing either of us, you still took us out for a good time yesterday, and we're willing to open up about something on your mind. We don't get that very much, if ever. It struck a chord with us. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah! We got each other's backs here. With that promotion I just got, I'm only one step away from the top. When I get there, 
I want you two to be my left and right hand men. <laughs> <laughs> Up until that point, I never considered anyone to be a friend. Muto and Kenji, however, I will always deeply value as true friends. Heading home early to surprise Akira. Today was a great day. I can't wait to spread the good news of my promotion to her. Akira, I'm home early. Already? Did something happen? Jobin let me come home early after the meeting. Best part is, I got a promotion. Kaseya, that's incredible. I'm so happy for you. Yep, you're looking at the new vice president of Nod. Take up my new position tomorrow along with the pay raise. Vice president? Well then, looks like we should celebrate a little. How does a fancy steak dinner sound for the young VP? You know me a little too well sometimes. Come on, I'm driving. You wanted to see me, sir? Sit down, Inoue. I think we need to have a talk about your position. My position? What about it? There's no sense in sugarcoating it, so I'll cut right to it. Inoue, you're being demoted. Active tomorrow, Kasuya Ankoku will be the new vice president of Nod. Kasuya Ankoku? Wait a damn second! You're demoting me for that little shit? He's barely been here for two days, and you're giving him my job?! No, no, Inoue. Calm down. Calm down? How the fuck do you expect me to calm down when the job I've worked so hard to achieve is being ripped right out from under me by some kid? Contain yourself this instant, Inoue. Ankoku is a much better fit for your position. He's a natural born leader and makes deals go smoother than you ever could. But sir! No more excuses. Clean out your desk in your office. I expect it to be ready for a new VP by tomorrow morning. Do I make myself clear? <sighs> yes, sir. I'll get right on that, Mr. Jobin. Good. Now get out of my office. I have some important calls to make, and don't want you sticking up the joint. Damn kid! What am I going to do now? <laughs> <laughs>